All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Pate's Performance. I uh, just got done another good day picking after work. I ended up picking like a literally brand new Kawasaki KHSS 750A commercial grade 30 inch hedge trimmer, running and driving, needs nothing. I also picked up this Bluebird lawn thatcher. Um, yeah, it runs, but it's just a little more rough than I want to do. So I'm just going to end up restoring this thing. Uh, so this will probably be my first restoration video that you guys will see me go through from soup to nuts, start to finish. Um, it's going to need four wheels. Of course, we're going to clean this thing. I'm not sure if I could, you know, adjust the cable anymore. Um, the blades stay engaged once you do. Um, so we'll see. Uh, this thing is definitely going to get a full, you know, aerosol overhaul. Uh, beautiful machine. I have one step up bigger. This will be the second lawn thatcher that I've restored. Um, before I started this YouTube channel, I'm going to go through my pictures. And if I have any pictures of it, I will post them up to show you uh, what this thing looks like. It's all cleaned up. Between both machines, I paid 300 bucks. Um, so I'm going to try and sell this for 4 because I'm trying to, I see uh, machines like this between five and six. I'm gonna put up at four, you know, maybe take three and that'll cover everything. You know, for the most part, this thing is gonna need four new wheels. Um, this over here looks like that there's a, a bushing or maybe a clamp that's supposed to, uh, you know, hold this, you know, all together. Or maybe it's just supposed to slide on a pivot. You know, it looks a little elongated. This spring is still here. That's in good shape. Yeah, so just basically four new wheels. Aerosol overhaul. Adjust the cable. You know, and, and, and we're rocking. Oh, and this is frozen. This is locked up. So I forgot in the meantime. Yeah, see, this is stripped. Shit. So I might just, I'll see if I can get this out. I gotta look at the parts diagram. See that? It's stripped. See if uh, you know, I'm gonna soak this obviously, and uh, you know we'll go from there. And you know these handles are supposed to fold, but I think I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. I mean landscapers really don't fold these. The way you see it is the way they get it. Excellent. A lot of these don't have the cover. I come across all, but it has the cover. Wheels are shot. So. Yeah, I guess, you know, this is going to be part one. But in the meantime, you know what? I will clean this because I want to power wash this. I want to power wash this, power wash this. And then I picked up this Troy Built XP as well. Running and driving. I want to clean that up, service that. And, you know, we'll get this thing for sale. So I have to go. Let me get out my Greenworks pressure washer. Greenworks Electric Pro pressure washer. And we'll get this thing. Uh, we'll see what kind of condition this is in.
2300 PSI pressure washer. Check this baby out. Whoops. I want you guys in. Came out pretty good. I'm actually going to stop the video so I can take pictures of this bad boy and put it up for sale. And same thing with this thing. Look, it was in pretty good shape to begin with in the first place, but you can build the gunk out of the blades. And then look at this thing. This is probably the best transformation. The Bluebird. Which is why we're making this video today. Look, now you can see the engine. All right? Paint actually isn't that bad once I cleaned it. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to try and get... The last one I sold was 650 so I'll maybe, you know, aim high, always go low. 800 bucks. to finish this thing. Got to order wheels for it. Cable's actually adjustable. I didn't know that until I uh, cleaned all the gunk out. See that? There's a spring in there. So look at this engine. The engine came out freaking minty. Look. No dust in there. All right, guys, so this is going to be part one of the Bluebird restoration. Um, yeah, so I guess, you know, I'll take you through on this first restoration video. I guess the, the, we're get, I guess we're kind of prepping for paint. So in the meantime, I'm going to make a decision. You know, probably that Bluebird emblem in the front. That looks really crappy. We're going to get rid of that emblem. We're going to get rid of this here. We're going to get rid of this here. You know, caution stickers are for idiots. And um, I'll see if I could save this sticker, any of these stickers. If not, I'm not even going to bother. You know, owning a Thatcher is pretty cut and dry. Uh, the CET lawn comb, we're definitely going to save that. You know, I'll, I'll box that out. But uh, check out this beauty. Besides the wheels, you know, this thing is in alright shape. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pat Tate's Performance, you know. Bluebird Restoration. Feel free to subscribe for more small engine repair and how-to videos and some restoration videos. All right. I will see you guys on the next video, which will be this. We're going to service this thing and we're going to sell it. All right. Later.